What is going on guys? My name is Chris and today I'm here to teach you how to shoot, edit, and export a time lapse. Now I'm gonna be using the Sony a7 III, but this method works for pretty much any camera as long as you have an intervalometer. Now the Sony has one built into it, so I'm gonna show you how to go through the menu system, find that, and you know, make your life a whole lot easier. Let's get into it. All right, so first things first, we're gonna set our camera up to be able to shoot a time lapse. So I'm using the Sony a7 III and in the first tab, page number four, I'm looking for a function called intervalometer shoot function. Now, if you don't see this tab, you're gonna need to update your firmware or just look around the menu system. It should be under the standard camera settings on the first page. The important things in this, it lets you turn interval shooting on and off. We're gonna to wanna to turn that on. The next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is shooting time. We want it to start two seconds after we press our shutter button. Then we're gonna change shoot interval. I want it to be three seconds in between each shot. And now the number of shots is kind of what's important. This is gonna determine the length of your time lapse. All right, so now your camera is ready. And the next time you press the shutter button, you are going to be starting your time lapse. Let's go out and shoot something. All right, so basically we are out here in nature. We have our time lapse running right behind me. And I just wanna give you guys a few tips and tricks that's gonna help you in your edit process and make your life a lot easier. Tip number one would be to shoot in RAW. Now, there's this big argument about JPEG versus RAW, but for what we're doing, this is gonna help your footage look a lot more dynamic, give you much more flexibility in Lightroom when we go ahead and import our photos, and it's just gonna make everything a lot easier. Second up would be to shoot in aperture priority mode. Basically, this is gonna allow your aperture to stay the same while your shutter speed and ISO change to compensate for your image. Next up will be to set a custom white balance. Now, if you're shooting a time lapse, you're probably going for a duration of time and we don't want our footage to kind of change from blue to orange to blue to orange per picture. So I'm gonna set a custom white balance. That way it's an even tone and I can go in and color correct later. And lastly, I feel like this is a given, but get a tripod, start your time lapse, do not touch it. Any shake, movement, rattling of the camera is just gonna ruin your footage and we don't want that, do we? So with those in mind, I'm gonna let this run for another 30 minutes and I will see you back in the office. Okay, we are back and we're here in Adobe Lightroom. So the first thing I wanna do is just go ahead and import my photos. And this might take a while because we took over 500. So I'm gonna let this run and do its thing and just cut forward. All right, so now that everything's imported, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna edit the first photo and then I will apply the settings to all of the rest of the photos. Lightroom is great for that. So I'm just gonna give this a quick edit All right, now I'm gonna select all my photos and come down here and click sync. Now sync is gonna allow me to apply all my settings that I basically made to my first photo to everything. It's a lifesaver and it's how these time lapses are made so easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and click synchronize. And basically once all your photos are set up, you're just gonna export the photos. So I'm gonna choose a desktop for my export. Um, I'm gonna put them in a subfolder because I like to keep things organized. I'm just gonna name it time lapse, and then I'm gonna come here and rename my photos, just TL. Basically, I'm gonna have the start number set for one, and this is gonna make our life in Premiere Pro a lot easier. So I'm gonna limit my file size to 5,000, um, just to make the entire process a lot shorter, because exporting this many photos can take quite a while. But once everything's done, we can come to our folder and we can see all our photos are right here. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna open Premiere. I'm just gonna come here and create a new project. And basically what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna import my photos. Now the way you do this is you click on the very first photo in a sequence and you come down here to image sequence. You check this box. And now once you click import, Premiere is basically gonna combine all of those images into a seamless time-lapse for you. And that's pretty much it. Now you can pretty much drag this down to your timeline or into your project and it is good as done. So I'm just gonna add some music, give it a quick export, and I'm gonna show you the finished result. Right, that's all I have for you on how to shoot, edit, and export a time lapse. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you get notified when I post new videos. That's it. I guess I will see you in the next one. Peace. Who almost forgot? Yo, this video is sponsored by Third World. It's a brand of my friends, and I absolutely love the merch. If you want some, link is in the description. Check it out.
You won't regret it. <laughs>